Good evening, Alex. How are you tonight? Good evening, Mr. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine too. Thanks, sir. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Busy. Busy? Yeah. Okay, I've been having a busy week too. Mm -hmm. But today it was more relaxing than every single day. I work in a bank and the first week of the month is busy. What bank do you work on? Promerica. Ah, Promerica. How are they paying uh, interest for uh, for one year loans? For for bill loans, customer loans? No, if uh, if I want to save money on a, on a one year loan, how much they pay mm. for interest? Maybe two. Two percent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, Ibi. Uh, Guille. How are you tonight? Uh, great. Uh, thank you, teacher. Uh, I'm. I just come right now. I just okay, come. Okay. I just noticed that. <laughs> yes, but I'm ready. I'm ready to 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 start the uh, the English class, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna start in two minutes. We're gonna wait for a couple more students. Okay. Okay, uh, teacher. Uh, okay, that's right. Okay, let me remind you that we have to go ahead and do in the knowledge check. Oh, okay. okay. That is the homework. For, me... for... Yes, sir? For the section two uh, and on the platform, teacher. Yes, we are going to finish section two tonight. But we need okay. to, to go ahead with... Uh, with section three. So we're gonna start section three and we're gonna finish section three tomorrow. And by tomorrow, uh -huh. okay, let, let me share with you what you have to do, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is... Okay, this is. Okay. Okay, so this is what we have to do. Okay. Uh, section number one, we're supposed to have done knowledge check 1.4. Okay, and knowledge check 1.9 and knowledge check 1.11, okay, from section number one. From section number two, we're supposed to have done knowledge check 2.2 and knowledge check, oh my God. And section two, we are supposed to have done infinitive and your own for uses and purpose, knowledge check 2.2. And uh, imperatives and infinitives, we saw that yesterday. So we're supposed to do knowledge check 2.9. Tonight, we are going to do this reading exercise, a day in your life, okay? Mm -hmm. And after that, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna do the vocabulary. And we are going to do the relative clauses of time and then you can do a knowledge check 3.4. And tomorrow we are going to do a, the listening exercise, the conversation and the knowledge, a, a derby of clauses of time and knowledge check, you can do knowledge check we are going to do the reading exercise too, so you can do it. And after that, on the weekend, you do the midterm uh, mm -hmm. test. Is that clear? Yes. 
Okay, that is for everybody. Okay, so you just go ahead and try to do as much as you can. Okay. Good evening, Eleonora. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good, and you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Good evening, Karen. How are you tonight? Good evening. I am fine. And you, teacher? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Mario, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. <laughs> A little bit tired, but I'm here to okay. ready to take the class. Okay, very good. So we're going to start, and we're going to start with this exercise that I left you for homework. I don't know if you remember, okay? If you remember this exercise, mm -hmm. okay? And we said that from the picture, okay, try to use this, okay, based on the picture. For example, make sure to connect the printer. The document won't print, so make sure to connect the printer to the computer. If that doesn't work, try, and you see try, try to restart mm -hmm. the computer. And be sure to save your work first, okay? So with the same expressions, can you, what can you say about the, the faucet? This is called the faucet, okay? Let me, let me show it to you. The faucet. Okay, that is the faucet, el chorro. Okay? That clear? So what can you say about the faucet? Mm -hmm. don't, don't forget close uh, faucet. No. Uh -huh. Don't forget to turn off. To, to turn off the faucet. The faucet, okay. Uh, what else? And can you see here we have a hair dryer. So what can you say? Try make, not make to. Sure, or make sure to, to turn off the. The faucet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure to turn off the faucet. What about the hair dryer? You remember the hair dryer and the water running, ooh, it's dangerous. So what can you see? Try not to. Try not to. Try not to put the hair, hair dryer next to the faucet. Okay, or try not to use. Uh -huh. Try not to use the hair dryer next to the faucet. Okay, very good. Now, here. You see the tank is empty. And what can we say about that? When you can see the car and the, you can see the tank is empty, vacío. What can you say? Remember to fill the, the tank. Remember to fill the tank. Fill. Okay. okay, another one, don't forget. Don't forget, be sure to be sure to, to fill put the gas. tank. Okay, don't put forget to put gas. Be sure to put gas. Try to put gas. Remember to put gas. Okay? Try to try okay. not to waste much gas. Uh -huh, and try not to waste much gas. Very good. Now, if we go to the book to the textbook on page 41, activity number nine. Let me see, this is page 48, activity number nine. Okay, so listen, Two. listen to people give advice about three, three of the things below. Write the name of each item in the chart. So here you're gonna write the name of the chart of the item, the CD development, the inline skates, the motorbike, the ATM car, the ATM car, the camcorder, or the personal watercraft. Okay. So 
You are going to write what you hear. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay, here we go. Let me get ready. I am getting ready. Okay, in a minute. Uh oh. Let me see it right here. Okay, I got yes, it. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so the first one is track number seven. Okay, here we go. Page 48, exercise nine. Speaking, free advice. Part A, listen to people give advice about three of the things below. Write the name of each item in the chart. One. It's best to use a stand when you're filming with this. If you hold it by hand, the picture is often not very steady. Be careful when you put in the battery. If you push too hard, you can actually do some damage. Okay, so what, what item is that? And record, can quarter. The can quarter, right? It says when you are filming, be sure to hold it, to hold it steady or to put it on something, okay? And the, if you don't put correctly the battery, you can buy, uh, you can damage. So very good. So that is the advice, right? Okay, now let's go to number two. Two. Remember to wear protective gear whenever you use them. You can easily fall and hurt yourself. And make sure to skate on a flat surface such as a parking lot, a tennis court, or a basketball court. Okay, what is that? What item is that? Inline, inline skate. Inline skate. And what is the advice? That protect the skate. Uh, it says to be sure to use protective Gear, can you see on the board? Can you see on the on the screen? Protective gear. So this is protective gear mm -hmm. for the elbows, for the wrists, for the knees. Okay. So you see protector here for the hands. More protection right there. So that is protective gear. So that is correct. So that was the advice. Okay. Very good. Now. What is the next item? Three. Be sure to put it in correctly. Then punch in your secret code. Remember to press enter. And don't forget to count your money before you walk away from the team. Okay, so what is the item that they're talking about? Um, the pictures, teacher. We can ah, see. You, know, you can see the picture. Okay, hold yeah. on a minute. Hold on a minute. Here we go. What 18 was cars in the picture? I guess. I'm going to play it again. So you okay. Can. Yes. okay. Okay. Three. Be sure to put it in correctly. Then punch in your secret code. Remember to press enter. And don't forget to count your money before you walk away from the show. Okay, mm. what is that? ATM, ATM car. Mm -hmm. ATM car. Okay. What is the advice? That no forget the money. Don't forget to count the count. money, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that to remember to put the car correctly, right? Yes. And remember to put the code. Pass. You remember the code? What we call the PIN number. Okay. So don't forget to put your code number. Okay, very good. So now we are going to jump to page to page 49. A day in your life in the year 2020. Okay, so look, scan the article. Scan the article is read it quickly. Then add the correct heading to each paragraph. Okay. So you're going to put what is the correct heading to each paragraph, okay? Now, communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, working. So here, 
based on what they say, based on what we read, you're going to tell me this paragraph is shopping or this paragraph is eating. Are we, are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, teacher. So, people used to know more or less how their children will live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future. You're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. And when it's high tech computers, your car knows how to get to your home safely. Okay, so what is the correct uh, heading for this paragraph? Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, getting around or working? <laughs> getting. Getting around. Getting yeah. around. Okay, so this is getting, getting around. around. Very good. Now, number two, you head for the kitchen when you get home. You ordered groceries by computer an hour ago, and they've been delivered. You paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. So what should be the name for this paragraph? Shopping. Mm. Eating. Eating. Mm. Delivery. Eating or shopping? Shopping. 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 Maybe Eating. shopping, right? Maybe shopping. Okay, mm -hmm. now. Shopping, yes. Okay, yeah. very good. Now, listen to this. What's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which food your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. So eating. what should be the name for this paragraph? Eating. Eating, eating. eating. that is correct. Eating. You see the robot making the salad? <laughs> and the people are very happy. They look happy. <laughs> Thank you. <Okay. laughs> Next, after lunch, you go down the hall yes. to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. What's the name of this part? Relaxing. No. Oh, Working. Excuse me. Sorry. Working, Working, right? Working. 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 Okay, very good. Now, the next one. Your information screen says that you received a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your co-worker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Communication. So, communication. Uh, communicating. Very good. Communicating. Uh, communicating. Very good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Next. You finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Back to the so what is this? Relaxing. What should be the name of this paragraph? Paragraph. Relaxing. 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 Very good. Now, let's go here. Read the article. Read the article and check true or false. And for each statement about the future, then write true information for each false statement. For example, number one, you need to pay attention while driving. So here it says that you're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. And with these high-tech computers, your car knows how to get home safely. So this is false. Your car has 
automatic pilot. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Hello, hello everyone. Yes. yes. Teacher. Teacher. Okay, yes. let me stop sharing because I want to say hello to everybody. Hello, Maria Jose, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm great. Okay, very good. Hello, Jordana, how are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher, just that it's raining here. Okay, it's yeah, okay. it's raining a little bit here too. Hello, okay. Cindy. How are you tonight? Hello, Tisha. Very good. How are you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Very good. Irving, how are you tonight, Irving? Hello, teacher. I am good. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Alexandra, how are you tonight, Alexandra? Hello, Alexandra. Are you there? Antonio, nice to see you again, Antonio, long time. How are you tonight, Antonio? I'm very good, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm very I can good. hear you, clear and loud. Yes, uh, no, it's not long time. Yesterday I connected. A little the... late, right? Okay. Yes, but I have a, a different problem with my um, devices, but this is the reason. Okay, it's better late than never, so it's okay. Okay. Hello, yeah. how are you tonight? Fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. And Ivan, how are you tonight, Ivan? I'm good, teacher. Thanks for asking. Where okay, we go? very good. So let's go to the exercise then, okay? Okay. So now let's read number two. You pay for your groceries when they arrive. Is that true or false? Uh, yes, it's false. It's false. What is true? What is true? You paid you pay for them before they before arrived. arrived. Uh -huh. The money was automatically deducted uh, from your bank account. So here you place. Uh, you pay for them before they arrive. Know when they arrive. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's go with number three. People don't use cash anymore. True or false? True. 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 Look what it says right here. Nobody uses cash anymore. So people don't use cash anymore. Very good. Excellent. Number four. You usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. True or false? True. 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 False. It's false because you used to stop off to get a hamburger or a pizza. You used to, remember? Not anymore. Mm -hmm. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which foods your body needs. So that is false. Because you write right here, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza, but not anymore. Okay, very good. The next one, you need to go to the office every day. Is that true or false? False. False, right? False. What it says right here, you never, never have, have to, to commute, commute to work yes. anymore. Commute is mm. go and come back. Go to work and come back, both, okay? So that is what you're supposed to write right here. So you don't have to commute to work anymore. Okay, very good. The next, the next item. You and your co-workers have to speak the same language? True or false? False. 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 You, said, uh -huh. you set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. And your co-workers, co-workers okay, so appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. So that is false. Thanks, you can Thanks. talk to your co-workers in, in your own language. When you get a message, 
you can see the sender's face. When you get a message, you can see the true. sender's face, true or false? True. 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 Okay, very good. Questions, guys? No questions. No question. No question. Okay, what about the last one? You have to go to a video store to rent movies? True or false? False. False, right? You oh, turn yeah. on the television and look through you the know, list like... <laughs> of the new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. It's like having a video store in your home. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Very good. With this, we finish unit number seven. And we are going to start unit number eight. You are going to love this unit. What's the name of the unit? Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Okay, so let's see. Holidays and festivals. Chinese New Year, January or February. Chinese people celebrate with firecrackers and lion dances. Valentine's Day, February 14th. People in many countries give chocolates, flowers, or jewelry to the people they love. Children's Day, May 5th. Japanese families put up color streamers shaped like fish in honor of their children. And Day of the Dead, November 2nd. Mexican families offer food to the dead and then have a meal in a cemetery. Wow, how you like that? <laughs> okay. Which of these holidays celebrate people? Which celebrate events? Do you celebrate this? No, don't worry about that. Let's go to the war powder. Okay. Now complete the war mag celebration. Special occasion. What celebration? Anniversary. Okay. Um, wedding. Yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so we can celebrate. Anniversary. We can okay, we can celebrate anniversaries. Okay, what else? Can we wedding. Huh? Wedding. wedding. We can wedding. celebrate weddings. Okay, what else can we celebrate? Bars. What are we going to celebrate soon? Holiday. Yeah, but what Christmas. holiday? What holiday? Christmas. 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 Okay, and New Year's. Okay, New now, Year's. very good. New Year's. So we have anniversaries, weddings, Christmas. Christmas. And New Year's. New Year's. Now, what is the special food and drink in the anniversary? Um, Cakes. Maybe. Cakes. Uh -huh, let me Fruit see. Punch. Cake. Flour. Fruit punch. Turkey. Maybe. Chocolate. Okay. Yeah, but food. Wait, wait, wait. We are with Fruit a special food. food and drinks. Okay, maybe drink. Maybe champagne. Tequila. Maybe tequila. Champagne. Maybe wine. Wine. Okay. okay. And a special food, probably nice dinner. Right? Turkey. No, mm -hmm. maybe, no, but not turkey. Okay. Some ribs. Huh? Some ribs. Possibly. Maybe some ribs. Maybe some ribs. Okay, yes. now, very good. Now, for weddings, what is the special food? The um, cake. The no, cake. It's... What else? Chicken. Maybe salsa chicken. De... Maybe chicken. In sauce okay. of for drink, jalapeno. Maybe tequila, vodka, rum, <laughs> wine, jalapeno. whatever they want. Now, whatever. what are the uh, special food and drink for, uh, let's see, Thanksgiving? Turkey. Uh, turkey. Roast turkey. turkey. Right. Roast turkey. And for and Christmas. Cake. Christmas, roast turkey, possibly. Uh 
uh -huh. roast turkey and sometime uh, ham or something like that, okay, for Christmas. Now, uh, what activities people do on the anniversary? Oh, oh don't tell me, please. Party. <laughs> okay, maybe Dancing. a party, right? Maybe a dinner, right? Dancing. Maybe dancing. dancing, maybe dancing. Okay, and for go to the hotel. Huh? Go to a hotel, but let's let's stop right there. <laughs> no more details. No more details. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay now, uh, on, uh, on weddings, what activities do you do? Play on card. Weddings. On wedding. Dancing. Mm, dancing. dancing. Dancing, what mm. else? Party. Party. Firework. Party. Party, okay. And Christmas, what activity? Fireworks. 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 Okay. And Flowers. Party and party. A party too, oh yes. Okay. And Teacher, it, is there a difference between fireworks and firecrackers? Well, fireworks are in general. And yes. firecrackers are the ones that make a sound. Oh, the smaller. Uh, not the really smaller. smaller, but the ones that just, for example, fireworks include the lights and the ones that make noise. But firecrackers are the ones that make noise only. Like yes? a pollo campero. Is that clear? I see. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, so firecrackers, los cuetes. Okay, sí, firecrackers. Vamos. And fireworks are like, for example, uh, pollo campero fireworks. That they have a lot of light, okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay, mm -hmm. Independence Day. What activity is we do in Independence Day? Parade. Parade, right? The feeling. Parade. And in Christmas, what is the activity? Dancing. Dancing? What else? Fruit punch. <laughs> That, that is the maybe, trick. Maybe fruit punch, that is correct. Fruit, yes, that's true. Okay, very good. Now, things that we give or receive in anniversary. Mm. Um, women, women get flowers. 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 And present. 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 present, very good. Now for, uh, for weddings. Cards. 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 Ah, also cards. in Christmas we give cards. In anniversary cards. we give cards. Yes. Okay, so in uh, Christmas we give cards. What else? Yes. Present. Cards. Present. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in Independence Day, what do we give? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay, in uh, Thanksgiving, what do we give? A lot of presents. No, we give thanks. We give thanks. We give thanks for having food in our plate. And, and, okay, very good. Questions? No questions. No questions? Okay, very good. Question. Very good. Now look at, listen to people discuss some special days of the year. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's the day when the North Americans celebrate the harvest. Everyone in the family gets together at our house. I cook a large turkey and serve it with cranberry sauce. February 14 is the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love. I'm really looking forward to Valentine's Day this year. I already have the perfect gift for my girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Okay, be careful. <laughs> it's great, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I gotta be careful. <laughs> okay. okay. I can't wait until the end of the year. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. We usually have a party at someone's house. 
we stay up all night and then go out for breakfast in the morning. Questions? No. Do you know what is harvest? Cosecha. La cosecha. Okay, let me see. Okay, very good. Before we continue, I want you to go here. Okay? Let's celebrate. Complete this paragraph with words in the box. Repeat after me. Families. 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 Fireworks. Fireworks. Harvest. Fireworks. Harvest. 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 Holidays. 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 Independence. 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 July. 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 Picnics. Picnic. 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 And rose. Rose. Oh, and remember that in uh, the United States on July 4th, which is the oh. independ their independence, independence day, day, they have picnics. And they also have fireworks. Now, let's let's go and read right here. Two of the, okay, everybody read with me. Two of the most important national holidays in the United States are Independence Day and Thanksgiving Day. Two of the most important national holidays in the United States are Independence Day and Thanksgiving Day. Okay, so now, Independence Day, the four of July. 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 March, the United States Declaration of Independence. 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 Okay, now repeat after me. Independence Day, the 4th of July, marks the United States Declaration of Independence from Britain. Independence, Independence Day Okay, now, most towns, big and small, celebrate the 4th of July with parades and picnics. With parades and picnics. Okay, very good. And picnics. <laughs> So we already used that one, we already used that one, we already used this one, we already used picnics, okay? With parades and, well, here and it fire, could be fireworks. or it could be fireworks, right? But most towns, big and small, celebrate the 4th of July with parades and pink. Families celebrate with barbecues or picnics. Picnic. So here only. is fireworks. Okay, repeat after me. Most towns, big and small, celebrate the 4th of July with parades and fireworks. Families celebrate with barbecues or picnics. Most towns celebrate the 4th of July with parades and picnics. Even they celebrate it on the 4th. Thursday in November. Okay, now, Thanksgiving Day is celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November. It is the day when people give thanks for the harvest. harvest. For the harvest. Very good. Harvest. For the harvest. Most families. most families have a large dinner with Roast turkey. Roast turkey. Roast turkey. Okay, Roast very good. Turkey. Very good. Repeat Roast after me. Thanksgiving families. Day is celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November. It is a day when people give thanks for the for the harvest, and most families have a large dinner with roast turkey. And given day is celebrated on the fourth of November. Today, give thanks for the harvest. Most family have a large dinner with roast turkey. Okay, very good. Now, what is the grammar focus here? 
Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. February 14 is the day. Okay, here, Thanksgiving is a day. Now, here, February 14 is the day because it's only one February 14. Now, Thanksgiving is only one day, but it is in different dates. That's why we say a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. New Year's Eve is a night. Like it's not a specific night, right? So New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. Is that clear? Now look, Thanksgiving and here. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. Is that clear? Is that clear? February 14 yeah. is the day when people give cars and presents to the ones they love. Okay? Okay. Very good. Now, uh, the next one. I can't wait until the end of the year. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. Is that clear? So that is called that is called relative clauses of fun. Okay. Now let's see. How much do you know about these days and months? Complete the sentences in column A with information from column B. Now, what is a New Year's? Now take a look. I'm going to make a stop right here, and I'm going to put this here. Okay, for you to okay. be clear, New uh, New Year's New Year's Eve is December thirty first. Okay, New Year's New Year's. Eve is December 31st. Now, New Year's New oh, come on. New Year's Day is January 1st. Okay? Now, the same goes with Christmas. Chris, Christmas, Christmas Eve is December 25th, no, 24th, sorry. And Christmas. And Christmas Day is December 25th, okay? So New Year's Eve is December 31st. New Year's Day is January 1st. Christmas Eve is December 24th. And Christmas Day is December 25th. Is that clear, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Now... Let me go back to here. So let's see. Try to match this with this. Okay. Number one, can you read it, please? Alexandra? Alexandra Rodriguez, turn on your microphone, please. Sorry, teacher. I have problems with my internet. Okay, but can you do it now? Yes. New Year's Day. New Year's Day is a day when um, people have parties with families and friends. Okay. Uh -huh. New Year's Day is the day when people have parties with family and friends. Very good. Guille, number two. April Fool's Day. Okay. 
yes, April April Fool's Day is a day when let me see people sometimes play tricks on friends. That is correct. Okay. This is in, uh, what we call in December 28th Innocence Day. Mm -hmm. Okay, April Fool's Day. El Dia de los Inocentes. In in the, the United States is April Fool's Day. It's in April 1st. Okay, so that is correct. Okay, next, uh, uh, Alex Rodriguez. May and June are the months when, oops, um, maybe many young adults choose to get married. <laughs> exactly. Or, okay, when many young adults choose to get married. So May and June are the months when many young adults choose to get married. Very good. Okay, the next one, eh, Maria Ernestina. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, okay. It's a day when the people express they love to someone. Okay, very good, that is correct. Irving, Labor Day. Labor Day is a day when uh, people in many countries honor workers. Uh -huh. Remember, Labor Day is El Día del Trabajo. Labor Day. Yes. Okay, and it's in, I think it's in September. I don't remember. Uh, okay. right now. You investigate, you tell me tomorrow. <laughs> okay. okay, very good. Uh, Irving, February is the month when uh, Brazilians celebrate the carnival. Uh -huh. Brazilians celebrate the carnival. Okay, now complete these sentences. Let's see, Maria. Winter, what happens in the winter? Uh, winter. Uh, Winter in the sun when um, when it's very cold. Okay, or in our case, winter is the season when it rains a lot. Is that clear? Okay, tell me again. Winter is winter is the season when it's it's uh, raining a lot. It rains a lot. Okay, very it's good. Okay, Jordana, birthdays? Birthdays are days when people get together with their family and celebrate and have parties. Okay. Very good. Alexandra, now let me see. Eleonora, mother, ah, a spring. Spring. A spring, la primavera, a spring. A spring is the time of the year. Um, a beautiful, a beautiful season for me. Uh -huh. Spring is the time when is a beautiful season. When is a beautiful season. A spring is a season when is beautiful everywhere. Okay? okay. Very good. A cutting Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a day when people celebrate their mothers. Mother. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. Their mothers. Okay, very good. Uh, Antonio, July and August. July and August are the month, uh, I don't know, celebrate. Uh, the saber of the world. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Okay, July and August are the months that are very hot. Okay. okay. Ivan, Ivan, a wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary is a time when couples celebrate their love. Uh -huh. Couples celebrate their loves. Very good, very good. Now, okay, let's go to here, okay, to the word book. Complete the sentences with the clauses in the box. Can you see it? So, 
Yes. 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 Okay. Now, number one, I hate April fifteenth in the United States. Is the day? I always owe the government money. When people, when people pay, pay taxes. taxes. Uh -huh. When people, no, when it's true, uh, when people pay taxes, exactly. I always owe the government money. Number two, I don't like September. When the when the school starts. Uh -huh. No, uh, no. I don't like September. Feel... Is the month when I feel when sad. I feel sad, I feel sad and depressed. Okay, why? Because that is the month that is start getting cold, so people can go out in the mm -hmm. United States. I always miss summer vacation. Miss summer vacation. Now June. Oh yeah. It's no. my least favorite no. month. It's the month when the students in the United States take exams. Take exactly. exams. Very good. June is my least favorite month. El menos favorito is the month when school starts. starts. I never study enough. Okay. Okay, and the last one. I have I never, have like never like, like like winter. winter. It's, it's a season, season when, the when the students in the United States take exams. Is this is the season when this? No, June is my least favorite month. Is the month oh, when the when students feel... in the United States take exams? I never study. Mm, I never study enough, so it's number three. Right. So number four, I have number, never liked winter. It's a season. But number four will be when sad and depressed. Uh, when a school, when when feel, a school that starts. No, always, when I feel sad and depressed because it says it affects my mood. Ah, okay, that's correct. So I have never liked winter. It's a season when I when feel, I feel sad, sad and, and depressed. depressed. The cold weather always affects my mood. So I don't so, like September. It's the month, it's the month when the school starts. Ah, uh, when when the school starts, I always. So the use. first, the, the first is, is when the, the people pay taxes, right? People pay taxes. Number two is the month uh, when the school Cold starts. Start. Number three. Number three. When, when the students exam. in the United States takes exams. And number four when is I, when I feel sad and depressed. Feel sad and depressed. Okay? Now, there is this crossword puzzle, special days. Use the words from the unit to complete the word puzzle. Greek and mix wedding ceremony. ceremony. Can you see there? Ceremony. Okay, so homework, I want you to do this puzzle, please. Is that clear? That is on page 44 on the workbook. Page 44. Okay. Okay, everybody has the book, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, now Whoa. I need you to, I need to talk to you about this. Okay, now, uh, this weekend, this weekend by Monday, you need to have finished section one. So that means knowledge check 1.4, knowledge check 1.9, no, and reading exercise 1.11. From section two, you need to, uh, knowledge check 2.2, Knowledge check 2.9 and the reading exercise. That is the exercise that we did tonight. Okay, the reading exercise about a day in your life. And you can do tonight, okay, the knowledge check relative clauses of time. That's what we did today. 
tonight, okay? And tomorrow, we are going to finish this so you can do the midterm on the weekend. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. Okay, okay. so please, please, for tonight, go and uh, do up to knowledge check 3.4, please, which is relative clauses of time, okay? Like uh, Valentine's is a day when people give each other gifts to show their love. Is that clear? So up to here, so yes. go to the platform and start doing everything. Remember, today you have to be done, have done a knowledge check 3.4 and all the uh, exercises before. Okay. Okay. Do you have any okay. question, guys? Okay, no. because remember, no tomorrow you have to do a couple of more exercises. Now let's check three points something and the reading exercise. And then on the weekend, you have to do the midterm. So Monday, we are okay. Ready to start okay. section four and section five for the final test. Okay. 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 Thank you very much for your attendance and cooperation, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. I see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have a good night, please. Bye. 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 Bye.